Hello my dear students, you're welcome once more to the GCE panel. You have been asking us to come up with the paper too. So in this series, we are looking at corrections of June 2022, A-level mathematics with statistics, A-level mathematics, uh, pure math with uh, mechanics, paper two, question one and to 10. Guys, if you actually want us to continue making these videos for you, then you equally have to play a part by subscribing to this channel and by sharing. By subscribing, and sharing you are going to help us to have more time to prepare more videos for you rather than trying to answer questions from many students because when you share instead of them asking us these questions they decide now hello guys and welcome once more to the sweet and beautiful gc panel online i am dr mice here our host and in today's uh, tutorials we are looking at the correction of june 2022 paper 2 pure math mechanics and pure math statistics question 2. in the previous video we just looked at the correction of question 1 and the next video looking at the correction of question 3. guys please we are begging on you we are on our knees until kata is coming out and even cough and whatever we are begging on you to one like our videos to share them three subscribe click on notifications leave your comments whenever you watch our videos and tell us what you like us to do or what you like us to include next so guys um this question reads a function f is such that f is mapped on uh, r is mapped onto r where the domain is a set of all real numbers excluding negative one and the code domain is a set of all real numbers excluding plus one defined as f of x equals x minus one on x plus one a show that f is subjective so how do we show that a function is subjective a function is subjective if the code domain if the code domain is equal to inverse okay so if the domain is equal to the code domain then we say it is subjective okay or if the domain is equal to the domain of the inverse now let's see how we do this guys please don't forget to subscribe to this channel look here leave your likes and your shares because that's what's going to motivate us to make more videos equally make sure that you answer our mock before your regional mock that is coming up in the different regions so here we have f is subjective if the domain of the function is equal to is image the set of images or the range so here we are going to have anyway uh dear students you know just by looking at this question if you look at the domain here it is the set of all real numbers excluding negative one right and if you look at the range the range is a set of all real numbers excluding one for the domain it is excluding negative one the range is excluding one so just from the question you can see that this function is not subjective why because the domain is not equal to the range anyway they said that we should show you already know so now you just have to show so let's first of all look for the range the range is the domain of the inverse function so let's start by looking for the inverse function which is we let y to be equal to x minus one on x plus one multiply both sides by x plus one you have y uh, x plus y is equal to x minus one from here we make x the subject of the formula and that's going to give us x to be equal to negative times y plus one on y minus one so the inverse function here is f inverse of x equals negative into uh, x plus one on x minus one so from here the domain of this inverse function is a set of all the numbers excluding one right so the image here is equal to the set of all the numbers excluding one which is not equal to the domain which on the other hand is a set of all real numbers excluding negative one so from here you can conclude that therefore f is not subjective okay f is not subjective so that's three marks know that because of space constraints we usually don't write much you just give the basics that you can if you like and build it up more now b find the composite function f of f of x and state its domain so f of f of x here will be in the function f and substitute x by f of x so our f of x is x minus 1 on x plus 1. So wherever we see x, we are going to replace it by all of these x minus 1 on x plus 1. So that's what we have here. 
So you multiply the numerator all through by x plus 1 and the numerator all through by x plus 1. You will be left with x minus 1 minus into x plus 1. I must put a bracket here because this negative sign is going to affect all the numbers or elements or expressions or terms coming after it. Then the denominator like this, we now simplify. The result will be negative 1 over x. And from here, what's the domain of this function? The domain will be the set of all real numbers excluding 0. Okay? Excluding 0. So x should not be equal to 0. I've stated the domain, right? So this is the set of all real numbers excluding 0. So I can write it in this form. Uh, the set of all real numbers, that is r minus 0. Or r slash, you remove that from brackets. Mm? All right. Now, c, the set, determine whether f of, f of x is an even or odd function. So uh, this function will be even or odd if f of f of x is equal to f of f of uh, negative x, we'll say it's even. But if f of f of x is equal to negative f of f of x, we say it is odd. Please listen again and don't misquote. If f of f of x is equal to f of f of negative x, it is even. But if f of f of x is equal to negative first now, negative f of f of x, then we say it's odd. So f of f of x, uh, f of negative x here will be equal to, now have this negative, this f of x, right? So this is negative 1 over negative x. That will be negative negative 1 over x. So we can factor out this negative sign. And we now see that what you have in this bracket here is um, what? Negative, this f of x, right? So this is going to give us negative f of f of x. So since f of f of x goes to negative f of f of x, we say the function is odd. If f of f of negative x was equal to f of f of x, then we say it's even. Like the cosine function that is even. The sine function is odd. Guys, please don't forget to subscribe. Don't watch this video and wait to the end before you subscribe. If you can have up to 300 subscribers by the end of this week, then we are going to produce many more videos in all the other subjects for you. But if you cannot have the subscribers, then we will just continue to work at your pace. It means that maybe you are not interested in our work, you don't like it or you don't share it or you are not subscribed. Because when you share or you subscribe or you do whatever comments, we see all of those things and we know how interested we are in the work. But when we don't see that, we are not motivated to do anything. Guys, we are begging on your subscriptions, on your shares, and on your likes. We are on our knees begging on this. If you watch this video, share with somebody. Share with the WhatsApp group. Share, share on Facebook. Share on a page where you know students are there and even teachers that can help people and help, especially in this time that students are facing a lot of difficulties, troubles. So the sub 2 of this question reads expand 1 minus x all of that over 1 plus 2x to the power 1 over 3 as a series in ascending powers of x as far as the term including x squared for max. So this is we have we have so many lessons on binomial expansion and so on. And equally we have come up with a uh, video series. This one is just like any other series that you are watching, all these novellas and all of that. But this one is a mathematics series where season one is pure math, season two is statistics, and season three is mechanics. I don't know if I mixed the season two and three, but one of them is mechanics and one is statistics. This is going to prepare you for GCE at full time. So here, this one over x over one plus two x over uh, one over three. Can be written first of all as writing in this form 1 minus x into 1 plus 2x to the power um, negative 1 on 3. Okay. Negative 1 on 3. Now that you have it in this form, negative 1 on 3, we can now continue with expansion. So this one with negative 1 on 3 can be written as 1 over x into, we are now going to expand only this one with this power out here. So we have 1, the first term is 1, the second term now we have. 1, uh, negative 1 over 3, right, into uh, 2x, okay, that's on 1 factorial, right, plus the next term now is um, um, negative 1 on 3 minus 1, into minus, uh, we subtract 1 now for it, negative 1 on 3 minus 1 is negative 4 on 3, all that into what, uh, negative 2 on 3, um, 2 on 3, okay, and then we have 2x to the power what now, to the power 2, all this on 2 factorial, and then we continue. So from here now, we can now expand, consider our expansion, we multiply, we first of all simplify what we have here, and then we now must uh, expand. So here we are going to have all of this, 
So when we bring life terms together, our final answer will look as follows. GC Panel.